everyone this is me vishnu priya devan with an another episode so this time i'm not traveling this time i'll be sharing few informations with you all about the history as we have celebrated the 75th independence day and it is the platinum jubilee of india being free and on my instagram i've asked you a question regarding was railways a gift from britishers to india and most of you have answered yes i think it's time for me to say you the original reason why i asked you this question railways were not a gift from britishers it was used to loot us from like to carry things from india to other parts for them first day even though they came as a uh, east india company a french east india company which later become your east india company which was owned by your britishers and they used indigo farming cotton farming there were many other things that they looted from us and had taken to britain even though we still sell that we have got freedom from them we really didn't they were actually controlling us during the partition time which was uh, like india pakistan uh, partition time the railways were used to show a large amount of massacre this partition that took between india and pakistan uh, during 1946 or 1945 i don't remember the year but yeah that was the most deadly partition to be ever taken they were not given any clues about in which direction the partition would be where all it would be divided so most people thought that uh this might be this way and this might be this way and the most painful partitions took place ever in the history uh now speaking about partition and railway railways as de- depicted in one of the film that i watched uh, bharat of salman by Sa- of salman khan we can really say that it was used to show people that how they will be treated if they cross borders even though uh, they could board the train they were not reached alive to the next destination like the people from lahore was not reached to india and people from india was never reached to lahore except the train driver driver sorry everyone in the train was dead and they only ensured that the train driver driver was stayed alive due to the fact that they wanted the other people on the other side to know that even if you had taken a, a like came from the other side towards the india or pakistan at that point you will never reach your home uh, alive most families got uh, broken and we still know many of us still suffer they even though we speak about party uh, india and its independence we only speak about the few people that we have learned there were many others which we should actually speak will never speak uh like the son of chatrapati shivaji maharaj sorry chatrapati shivaji maharaj also played a very important role in this party uh rule again independence against uh britishers from in for india and i guess I'll continue that in the next topic. Till then, this is me, Vishnu Priya Devan, signing off. If I missed out any points, please let me know. And if you want this information to reach to more number of people and let the union between India and Pakistan grow like it was before, do share, like, comment, do whatever you want. I just want it to reach to the maximum number of people so that they know our history really well, as I know. And most of you think that it was uh, and some facts that i would like to say we heard that it was started in 16th of april 1853 and the first train for trial was started from boribali boribandar to thani which was around 14 miles later they had this train from calcutta to bombay and many other places the first experimentation was done from boribandar to thani Thank you and keep watching Travel Diaries with me Priya
and do share this with most people and let others know about india's history so this is part one of india's history part two will be about chatrapati shivaji maharaj's son bye bye